Hi, my name is Jacob Martinez, and you're about to watch or listen to the first episode of what we're calling the Real Talk Podcast. The whole goal of the show is to help beginner, but not only beginner, real estate investors, agents, enthusiasts gain insight about the real estate industry. And we're going to do that by sharing our own experiences, as well as by bringing on as many real estate professionals as possible from all over the world as guests. The title of this first episode is What is Real Estate? We wanted to talk about the meaning of the term real estate as well as briefly cover the legal definition of real estate. If you're looking for a quick explanation about the definition of real estate, this is definitely not it. There are much better videos that you can find online or short articles that you can read that'll help you do that. The definition of real estate is actually quite a heavy subject that involves a lot of legal nuance depending on where you are in the world. So in this episode, the goal was just to generally illuminate the meaning of the term for beginners. And actually, we didn't even do a great job of that. Sometimes we used industry terms and we didn't exactly explain what they meant. We also didn't do a great job with this episode from an audio perspective. If you're listening to this episode, there's going to be continuity errors. And sometimes we were looking at pictures or reading comments from people and we didn't exactly do a great job explaining verbally what we were looking at visually. You should be just fine listening to this episode, but if you can, I recommend watching the video version. All of this just to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for even considering to watch this episode, even though it's not perfect. You're definitely always gonna hold a special place in our hearts. And depending on when you're watching this, maybe it's a few months or years from when this was first posted, we probably have a lot more episodes for you to watch or listen to, and they're gonna be better than this one. And despite everything I just said, there's a lot of great information for beginners in this episode. So if you're just thinking about getting into real estate investing or becoming a real estate agent, you will not be wasting your time by watching this episode. Thank you and enjoy. But encumbered with mortgage, with yeah. a mortgage. Yeah, yeah. Encumbered. Yeah. I like the word. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's try to fit it in now. <laughs> okay. I think we're just uh, at any moment. We're ready to go. So. Go. Let's go. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Jacob Martinez. And I'm Kasia Suszyńska from Poland. Yes. Uh, this is the first episode of the Real Talk podcast. Uh, we're basically just two people here and we want to talk about real estate. Well, there are more people here, but you can see only us. Yes, oh. behind the scenes we have Wojtek, he's our very, very nice production manager. Uh, he's awesome and he's going to sometimes shout some awesome things at us. Or actually some, you know, comments. Or yeah, give, we some, want give like some of his feedback, you know. Some feedback. Exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, this is going to be a podcast about real estate. We're especially trying to talk to people who are beginning their journey into investing in real estate. Um, and with that, I'm kind of a person, which is basically that person. Uh, I am... Amateur? Really? I'm an amateur at real estate investment. I've been interested in real estate, especially for the last few years. Uh, I actually started a few courses and I was about to become a real estate agent in the United States. But long story short, I'm in Poland now. Kasia. To record podcasts. To record you a podcast hear, about real estate. To Poland yes, to yes. record podcasts. I haven't because I was born in Poland, mm -hmm. but uh, my expertise is actually real estate. So I'm a PhD and um, I've got a PhD in economics and I'm a lecturer. And uh, well, my field um, actually is, is uh, property valuation and uh, uh, housing policy mainly. So okay. I do deal with real estate, but actually in terms of, of investing in properties, I'm also amateur, so. Okay, yeah. Well guys, that generally speaking, um, I'm the beginner here and Kasia is the expert. So if we have any special, especially like legal questions or something very specific about real estate, Kasha is the person you want to go to. Come on, come on. Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. She's too humble. All right. Um, so this first episode, we're focusing on uh, what is even real estate. I'm sure you've heard the term. If you if you landed on this video, you've probably heard the term and you're wondering what real estate is. I mean, where do we hear this term? 
all the time probably do well all the time and everybody has has their own opinion on it probably yeah. uh, you know that i always deliver a textbook definition so you'd better start with, okay. <laughs> with so, your own understanding of the term so when we hear real estate i'm assuming most people think of houses apartments or something um you probably know that your friends or your family have bought real estate uh, but, inherited because we're in, in poland so we do inherit uh, really? really what you're saying in the United States, we don't inherit stuff? Uh, well, you do inherit, but I don't think it's that uh, that common that you get presents from your parents. What do you think? Our grandpa? parents just die and are like, no, no, no. it's not is, for is, you. Isn't it, isn't it a bit different from what it's like in Poland? But okay, we can get back to it. Yeah, we'll, yeah let's a, a topic for another podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, what is real estate? You've probably heard the term thrown around. You might have heard that it's a great investment. You might have heard that it's a terrible investment, that stay away from real estate. It's a nightmare, renting and uh, tenants and all that. Um, so in this podcast, in this episode, we just want to talk about what is it and um, give you a clear idea of what it is so you know when you hear the term real estate. Do we have a clear idea of what it is? Well, actually, there are so well, many definitions. I mean looking at the dictionary term and the yeah. civil law term that's obvious but yeah so in a second it means so many different things yeah in a second let's get to the textbook definition but before we get there let's just really quickly talk about like okay let's start with you kasha when you hear real estate when yeah. someone says real estate what is going through your head what do you think well my first association is probably the same as yours mm -hmm. home right okay. this is a residential property uh, that I I can um, that it well that can protect me and my family that can give me some shelter, um, and that actually meets my a place my, where you can watch Netflix. Yeah, watch Netflix and and uh, have some fun, feel cozy, mm -hmm. comfortable. So uh, the first association is actually meeting my my basic needs. Okay. Uh, but then, you know, uh, I start to think in academic terms and I think about commercial real estate, industrial ones and so on. So um, probably those associations won't be that okay. common and obvious. Yeah, actually, uh, I think my associations are a little bit different than yours. Oh. I don't really think of when I hear real estate, I don't think of a place like to protect your family or even the shelter aspect. of I'm it. I'm a mother. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that might be part of it. Mommy. So, um, when I hear real estate, I think of something like strictly legal, mm. like a piece of property, land, a house, a building, an apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, Wojtek. A dwelling. A dwelling. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Gosh, it depends, always... actually. I also got a family, so I think about the real estate as a, as a, shelter. As a, as a shelter. Okay. Home. But of course, um, uh, also as a, as a kind of investment, uh, a place where you can invest your money. So. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So three different people, similar, but slightly different um, opi or ideas, understandings. Opinions, yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe you're thinking of something else in your mind. So um, let's go into... Wait, wait, wait. I think we've lost, uh, we've lost our train of thought here. Uh, what I was trying to say is uh, we are a little bit more... Uh, we might know the okay. definition of real estate a little bit more because mm -hmm. we are actually very interested in it. Mm -hmm. All of us, to some degree, are very interested in real estate. Whereas the average person who's just thinking about investing in real estate, uh, they really might not even know the definition. So uh, what do you think the average person who isn't interested in real estate very much yet, uh, what do they think real estate is? Oh, what, do, what they yeah. think What's, about What, what well. are they thinking about? When they hear real estate, uh, well, probably the same as as we uh, as as our associations were. Yeah, Don't like a house, that, like a house, land. a home, yeah. land, uh, raw land, maybe infrastructure yeah, yeah. in it, or uh, in, well, some some uh, developments or improvements on the land right. and to the land. Yeah. Uh, well, plus commercial real estate like shops, stores, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. offices. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. And actually, I think that's pretty much a very good broad definition. It might not be technically textbook correct, okay, yeah. but w in your professional opinion, would you say that that's a pretty good definition? Just houses, land, raw land. Well, sure. Sure, yeah. you may just add an extra layer. And with... that's the show. Thank you, everybody. We'll catch you next time on the Real Talk podcast. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But essentially, yeah, I mean, that's enough. Yeah, that's, Th that's all you need to know yeah. about real estate. Well, but, 
provided that you're not an investor, right? Because right. then you have to inspect the property a bit sure. deeper and exactly. Um, so if you are not in thinking about investing in real estate, you can end this episode here. Goodbye. It was very nice to meet you. Thank you very much for being here with us. But if you are interested in investing in real estate, it's probably worth knowing uh, the definition more deeply. Um, and I have a special treat for us. I'm a member of a group on Facebook. Uh, I recommend it highly. You can you definitely mean Facebook? Join we do know that in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I it's know. It's been with us for some time. <laughs> yes, I think all over the world, Facebook is pretty well known. Uh, so I'm a member of this group called the Real Estate Millionaire Mastermind. You don't have to be a millionaire to be in it. Well, I'm, it I'm takes time. Yet. Two years. Yeah. I'll give you two years. Let's <laughs> Thanks. wait. Okay. Hopefully I can do it that quickly. Um, but uh, feel free to join that group. The reason though, I posed, I posed a question, oh, so yeah. I posed a question in the group to all these group members. There's a lot. I, I think there's so there like, was a survey that yeah, you conducted. Yeah, I, I did a survey. Okay, how my, many questions? Uh, one question. Oh. I just asked in the group, what do you think the definition of real estate is? Mm. And uh, while uh, there are a lot of probably very wealthy and very seasoned professionals in the real estate industry in this group, there are also a lot of people that are just beginners, total beginners. Yeah. Um, so I think it's going to be very interesting to see uh, well, the answers. The answers. Uh, Kasha has not seen these answers. I have seen all of them. I tried to reply to all of them. Maybe I missed some. You mean some. now? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I posed this question like a week or two ago. Okay. And let's. I'm going to show them to you guys and Kasha right now. I found this in like two seconds when I when I didn't have when I wasn't in the middle of our podcast, and I just wanted to find it. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so th I just did a straight up post in the group that said, without looking it up, what do you think the definition of real estate is? All right, that's interesting. I emphasized then in the description without looking it up. All right. So hopefully none of these people looked it up. <clears throat> all right. So I already know all these answers. But basically, well, that's what I usually uh, emphasize when they start writing their examinations. But yeah. you know, it's you never you never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's see. Let's get Kasha's take, especially on some of these answers. So this first person said, "I'm not gonna say their names, or we'll probably blur them out for privacy reasons." Uh, estate that is tangible, like something you own that's physical. So that's brick and mortar real estate. Well, uh, well, this definition is not complete, right? Yeah. But it's, it it's, it's this not a bad legal yeah. layer. It's not a it's bad not start. Bad. Okay. Uh, another person said anything permanent attached to the land is real property. Kind of. <laughs> it still lacks this legal part. And uh, this might be a person that probably knows the definition pretty well. Uh, so well, in fact, that words like permanently attached yeah. Yeah. are just in their vocabulary. Like, yeah. I ass if I was able to go in a time machine, like before I knew anything about real estate, and, you would definitely and, not and ask myself, it. what does permanently attached mean? I'd be like, in a real estate context? Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, a bundle of rights regarding land and property. Oh, now it's more complete. Yeah. Right? This is another key term. Bundle of rights is going to yeah. come up in the like technical. My favorite legal... term, yes. actually, because I usually pester my students with questions about the bundle of rights mm. and what rights it can be and so on. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, so this is a person that probably went through a course on real estate. I would assume maybe they're a real estate agent uh, because, yeah, this, this term comes up a lot in the real definition. Royal estate granted by king unless you get an allodial title. All right. Does anything, does that? It doesn't ring a bell. No. I think this person is referring maybe to something uh, in like historic times of land ownership, perhaps. Land. Land. Yeah. I like that definition. It's just, it's just land. It just says land. <laughs> that's his definition. Land. <laughs> it, it's, it's not, as we well, said in the beginning, it's that's not, not bad. It's not a terrible definition, you know? It's I mean, funny. basically, yeah. You're not wrong, Noah. Uh, we can use first names. Let's just not okay. get to their last names. Um, okay, titanium. It's a cool name, by the way, titanium. It includes land and its improvements. Yeah. So it was similar it to some of the other ones, yeah. but again, not complete, yeah. but not bad. Nothing wrong with that. Wealth. I think this person was trying to be a little bit funny. He obviously is a pro real Investor. estate investment person. Yeah, he's into it. Okay. This guy, this is a comedian here. Uh, not fake estate. Not fake. Not fake estate. Real estate. 
That's okay, a, yeah, that's real. <laughs> that's a great obviously, definition of... <laughs> obviously. Thank you, Brett. Brett? Yeah. Brett. <laughs> Fantastic. We could, uh, no, what would we have Brett. done without Brett? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You've made my day. <laughs> Look at that, Brett. <laughs> You've made Kasha's day. All right. I hope I'm saying this right. Jesus said, it's an estate that is real. So we have another comedian in the audience. Okay. Yeah. Jesus, very nice. Another person that just said land. So this is obviously a keyword. A lot of people because it must associate. it is a hook word. Here, yeah, right? it's, a key word. it's an important word when I'm talking about real estate. Okay. Physical asset that is a great hedge against inflation. We are about to see a whole lot of that. Oh, this person not only gave us a definition, but offered again. some of their advice. Yeah, okay. Oh. Thank you very much, Edwin. It's awesome. <laughs> um, an appreciating building. Appreciating mm -hmm. building. It means that it's getting in value with time. It's rising in value. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So another person that is pro investment, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you would you would think that in this group, the millionaire mastermind of real estate, that these people are mostly pro real estate investing. Yeah. Okay. We have a Jake here, and Jake says real, period, estate, period. It is an estate that is real, period. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it, Jake. That's yep, it. There we go. <laughs> Okay, Royal Land by Andrew. Ro Andrew said Royal Land. And then uh, he, he continued to explain, said, you never actually own it. Kings came up with this so peasants couldn't actually own the land but would continually pay taxes on it. Thereby we have land taxes. Well, that's the beginning. That's the story generally, right? Yeah, but is that true? Well, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is, but it didn't start with kings, I guess. Well, it's, the story is longer. I can tell longer. you this. Andrew is not a fan of real estate taxes. <laughs> okay, I know that. Uh, and taxes generally. <laughs> and in general, probably. Okay, Francisco, physical property. It's not only physical, is right? It? Is it not only physical? It's all, no, it's also, uh, well, um, intangible assets too, right? Because rights are right. not tangible. There we go. Okay, so that's, uh, well, actually, um, I think we're getting into the definition in in legal terms, which we'll get to in a second, real estate is the physical part, and real property... Property is more like uh, intangible. Yeah, it deals with the rights. So, technically, Francisco should be correct. Yeah. All right, moving on. Mm -hmm. Owning physical property, real estate. Let's well, just, like, uh, lightning round some of this. Owning physical property. Real estate is the land and anything above or under the land. Yeah. Well. Solid, solid definitions it's the land plus improvements and the bundle of rights associated with the occupation quiet enjoyment and use of said land slash improvements i just shotgunned that definition so i know it's not correct but i've included more than what actual the actual definition entails oh so this person definitely took a real estate course i think um a I would, very I would conscious bet. user yes of yes the uh, chat room okay cash flow so this person is very pro pro investment royalty rec collections of land i'm not 100 percent sure what this what you were going for nelson but yes probably a house again very simple you know a lot of these are basically now we're getting into like a repeating pattern so property anything owned that is immovable i like this word Real estate is immovable. Uh, but uh, tell me again, what was that? I mean, this uh, Facebook chat chat room or... Uh, this is a group on Facebook. And That's what's just, the title? What's the name of it? It's the Real Estate Millionaire Mastermind. Okay, it's just so people interested in yeah, investing in, in real estate. Exactly. Yeah. So you don't so have to be a millionaire. This actually limits uh, the <laughs> approach to, to yes. real estate. Yes. So this right? is obviously someone that is in to some degree yeah. interested in real estate. So you would hope that most of these people have an idea of what real estate is. All right, moving on, because we're drawing this out. Uh, now let's get to the textbook definition. And here I'm going to hand it off oh, mostly yeah, to you, Kasia. You. Here you go. The textbook <laughs> definition of real estate. Let's hear it, Kasia. Well, actually, uh, I won't actually um, cite the definition, but it's... You should. Let's just, oh, yeah, let's just cite, the, cite the real definition real quick to start off. Land, buildings, and things permanently attached to land and buildings, also called realty and real property. There you go. And the other definition, well, you're well prepared. Real estate is the land, along with any permanent improvements attached to the land, whether natural or man-made, including water, trees, minerals, buildings, homes, fences, and bridges. Wow. That's actually a broad definition, uh, but as we mentioned, and uh, as Facebook users actually mentioned, mm -hmm. um, 
this is a very brick and mortar, right? Definition, but yeah. we have to remember about this bundle of rights. Right. And okay. Yeah. So let's get to that right now. Uh, real estate versus real property. Mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind, Kasia is from Poland and she lectures students in Poland. Um, so the terms might vary from country to country and in the United States, sometimes even from state to state. So real, if you go into a textbook or you look online, you're going to see this distinction between real estate and real property. Um, so real estate is brick and mortar. Yeah. Is yeah, everything physical, physical, what we mentioned. Yeah. Uh, while Buildings, the land, the dirt, you know, that's the physical dirt, stuff. Yeah, fences, fences trees yes. even, right? Yeah. Uh, while real property is something more because you mm -hmm. have to add another layer to it, to this physical part, which is a bundle of right. Yeah. My favorite term here. <laughs> and, uh, it's n there's nothing super special. Ownership yeah. or renting, yeah. right? There's nothing super special. Like when I was taking a real estate course, I remember like, why, why do they call it a bundle? Like, is this a special, it's not a special word. It just means a group of rights. More yeah, than, more than one Yeah, but it's a bundle right. because actually you can um, detangle it. Um, you uh, can just separate yeah. those, those rights, Okay, right? yeah, you can but do... it's it's a bundle. It's just another word for group. Just yeah, yeah. More than one, a group more than rights, one right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but it's called a bundle of rights. Right. It's a fixed term. It's like a fancy, you know? Yeah, fancy. If you say bundle of rights, you're cool. You know, <laughs> you're you know cool what you're talking about. You're an expert in real estate, <laughs> yes. actually. Yes. So we've been upgraded. We're no longer <laughs> amateurs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Kasha, this is your favorite section. You said so. If you have anything else you want to add to the technical textbook uh, definition, please. Actually, uh, cut. It's also a bundle of rights. Maybe ownership or renting. Yeah. So maybe just quickly go into those rights. Okay. Like just as briefly as we can, each of uh, actually, the main rights. I would okay. Mention, so yeah. Yeah. As quickly as we can, let's just go through uh, the main rights. The, in the, the bundle. main rights in Ugh. this bundle of rights. So we've drag, we dragged this out too long. I'm sorry. So. Just on the on the screen right now, you're gonna see a list of of the basic <laughs> rights you usually get uh, when you own a piece of real estate, uh, real property, and um, yeah, you don't have to know them very well if you're only beginning, but it's worth diving into slowly as you progress on your journey. But it's into worth mentioning that they affect the price and the value of real estate, right? So uh, the value of real estate depends on uh, what right you get with it. Right. Oh, and uh, what I wanted to say before was uh, like the mineral rights, the rights to, if there's to oil, dig. <laughs> yeah, to dig, if there's oil or there's gold in the ground, uh, sometimes uh, you have the right to use, to, to take that gold. But usually that's... Uh, treasure yeah. right like state treasure yeah in poland but in the united states i think it's much more common that if it's on your land it's freaking yours well, that's very <laughs> american right? yeah america yeah <laughs> we love it exactly uh yeah so that's that's the basic overview of the bundle of rights let's move on um so just circling back kasha in a few words uh but maybe a little bit more than just buildings and land. What is real estate? What's the definition? Coming back to the textbook definition of real estate. <laughs> well, it's land, it's, you know, buildings, everything that is attached to the land and uh, uh, plus infrastructure that is under, right? Okay. Or over, above. Right. Okay. So real estate is land, buildings, and everything attached to the land and buildings, if that makes sense. For Permanently example, attached. Yeah. So but what does permanently mean? Like, uh, you know, a vehicle is not permanently okay, attached to land. But right? we're in a building right now. Okay. And it's a very solid Furniture building. Furniture is not real estate. Yeah, it's a solid building though. Yeah. But if I took a bulldozer and like rammed the building, I, I could, if I was very motivated, destroy it and sure. it wouldn't be attached anymore. So why can I call this real estate? If it's not technically permanently attached, I could destroy it if I really wanted to. But you, you can't destroy it by kicking and hitting and... So is that the definition though? Like, if you can't <laughs> do it... A very informal one, yeah, I would say. Yeah, very informal one. So I, I guess maybe a good way to put well, it would be... If it's, it's not, not easy... It's not permanent. It's not forever, right? Um, well, the technical condition determines the, the durability mm -hmm. of a building. So but okay, just... It's like... 
hundred years or you know if you don't maintain your building right. if you don't It'll keep fall apart. it yeah it will fall apart so simply put is this a, a, a fair way to put it simply put if you can't easily destroy it like yeah if you have to take a bulldozer to reasonably destroy something uh or like a jackhammer or like a, like a, a power tool then it's it can be considered real estate most likely, right? Yeah. Is that a good way to put it? That's a great way to put it. Okay, <laughs> awesome. So, why don't You've we get... nailed it. Perfect. I'm glad. All right. Let's go into a couple of examples in that case. Like you just said a, a second ago, furniture is not real estate. It's not real estate. Why? Well, because you can easily take it away from the room, right? Right. Like... Take it out. I could pick up that chair. I'm a very yeah. strong man. It's on wheels, actually. I could so take that and throw it out the window. Very easy. No yeah. problem. Yeah. You want, me, you want to see me do it? <laughs> Uh, our our well, boss Wojtek would not be very happy. Actually, actually um, nice you know, show. it is very easy to determine what is a real estate and not uh, what is not uh, yeah. in case of residential real estate. But it's not that easy if you look at the commercial real estate, because think about a um, a shopping mall, a shopping center, right? Where you lease out some some uh, well, not boxes, but rooms okay. for uh, for your tenants. <laughs> Um, and uh, sometimes you're obliged to, to uh, put some furniture and you fix them to the walls, for example, right? And Can you then give you've a, got a more solid example, like what? Uh, like, like, cab like, like cabinets? Yeah, like at cabinets, a clothing store? Okay, okay, or cash deals or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cash registers. Cash registers. Yeah. And then uh, it's a question, you know, whether it, uh, it's a belonging of somebody who, who, uh, who put it in of the owner of the property or the tenants. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is also a question of uh, a matter of fixture, right? Okay. Or a fixture, a fixture. Yeah. So can I try to define this a fixture? Sure. A fixture? <laughs> so what Kasia is trying to say, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, like kind of how we mentioned, how easy it is to remove. If a cabinet yeah. is screwed in very securely, you know, if I need power tools and if I'm gonna damage you know, the building or the wall that it's attached to significantly just to remove this thing, or even not super significantly, but somewhat, it yeah. can be considered a fixture. It's like fixed in place and it can essentially be called real estate, right? Yeah. All right. Awesome. You've made it again. I'm good at this. I try. I try. I'm, I'm going to try to be humble. Yeah. Don't be. No reason <laughs> okay. to be humble. So, um, Actually, talk, speaking of this, so can we give a couple of more examples? Like you just said, a, a cabinet at a mm -hmm. clothing store. Uh, a chair is obviously not real estate, very easy to get this rid of. It's a computer unit, right? Yeah, so that's obviously not real estate. Not all right? real estate. Uh, can you give Those maybe... plants that I can always take yeah. from my okay. office. Those plants, but what about like grass growing? On, that's real on... estate. That's, that's real a estate? part of real estate, sure. Okay, but I could go and rip it out pretty easily. Well, sure, but nobody does it unless you really want to do it, yeah. right, to destroy it. So it seems to be a part of it. Okay. So this is probably where we get into a little bit of a gray area, right? Um, yes, I can go and rip out one, like, handful of grass, and then technically this grass I'm holding is not really real estate. But all the grass on the land... It is. When it's attached, it, it is real estate, because it's all attached there. Mm, it, it wouldn't be easy to remove all of it. Like, you need a... Sure. A, uh, a bulldozer again. Yeah, Ugh. or a good group of dudes and some shovels, you know, like your your cousin Vinny or something. <laughs> some some buff dudes. Okay. Kasha, I think That's it's time a game. to play it's time a game. Play. Yes. And I'll Is be it... the only contestant. I've heard. <laughs> but yeah. I have so, actually. I don't know what's your, what's your plan. Exactly. So we're gonna play a game now. Is it real estate? <laughs> Ooh, come on, party guys. No one else is gonna come. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Well, okay, after, after winning the game, okay? We're super I'll excited, wait okay. That. We're going to play a game now. It's called Is It Real Estate? Or not. Or not. Uh, the game is just called Is It Real Estate? <laughs> but essentially, I'm going to show Kasha some pictures, or I'm going to describe some things to her. Go ahead. She <sighs> is going to tell us whether it is or is not real estate. Kasha, uh, Kasha has not seen these things before. Uh, me, Wojtek, we, we kind of thought of these things earlier, and um, they start very easy. Yeah. And we try to make them get a little bit harder as we go along. Okay. All right. Hope I'll so, cope with it. The first thing is a house. It's definitely a real estate. It's, def 
Definitely. Definitely. No question. That's your final answer? Well, I mean, uh, I guess it's a house plus the land and, uh, and the right to okay, it, what about Okay, what about just the house? It is real estate. Yeah, it's real estate, for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. Why? Mm, well, I can see land. I can see a building. Uh, a building that is not on wheels. It's, uh, you know, um, permanently attached to it. And it's actually surrounded by trees. Yeah, so it probably has a concrete, like, foundation. Yeah. It's secured to the land. I it's guess real estate. So. Okay, Kasia, I think you're right. Woo! Really, <laughs> we're also relying kind of on your opinion here because uh, you're the expert in this field. So if you tell us it's real estate, we're going to have to believe okay. it. All right, number two, a dollhouse. Well, if I were a Barbie girl, then I would say oh, it is. It looks like home, uh, but it's not a real estate, right? It's um, uh, It doesn't meet uh, anyone's needs mm -hmm. uh, you can't really treat it as a shelter and you Maybe it's not might. a fixed to the land so there are so many criteria um, telling us that it's not real estate so it's definitely not real estate definitely not You're eight years old and you know, <laughs> yeah you're oh. show, you devastating right yeah i'm sorry and you i'm can sorry all the nine-year-olds watching <laughs> right now Unfortunately, you are not a real estate investor if you own a dollhouse, but it's a, it's a good beginning. Yeah. Did you play with dollhouses when you were younger? I played with books. There we go. Definitive proof that if you play with a dollhouse, you will become a real estate investor when you grow up. There we go. All right, moving on. Number three. The ground or like the dirt, like the, the physical dirt and stuff that is on a piece of land. Is that real estate? Of course. It may be raw, raw land. <laughs> with no uh, infrastructure, with no uh, improvements to the land and mm -hmm. on the land, but it's still real estate. All right, yeah. And again, this goes back to like, if you had a digging machine, like, yeah, you could dig out all the all the dirt and just be left with, with more emptiness. Even if you destroy it, you can quite easily um, restore it, right? I don't know. Maybe well, as easily as you easily, took it out. But you can restore yeah. it somehow, yeah. right? So anyway, generally speaking, it's going to be considered real estate. Sure. All right, cool. Next, what about just like one shovel load of dirt? Like, Not really. Uh, well, but a second ago, you said all that dirt is real estate. But if I just take sure. one shovel load, it's no longer real estate. It's no longer real estate. Interesting. I feel like that's a, that's a very powerful thing. You know, a human can have. You can just, by this one little action, turn real estate into non-real estate. Well, it what can, is it? It can what? be land for for those uh, dolls again. Ah, okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll slowly turn the dollhouse into real estate. Okay, moving on. A car. That's a vehicle, and that's a, a movable thing. Uh, it's. I think multiple times you've already said it's not real estate. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it has wheels. Uh, okay, but um, look at this. Look at this. These cars. They're like parked in a garage. What if this one doesn't BMW, have BMW? Is it? Yeah. They're yeah. nice classic BMWs. At least here in the background, I think there's other cars. But anyway, um, let's say there wasn't an engine in this car. It's not really movable. It's not movable. Well. You can move it probably somehow, right? Okay, By well, loading it on uh, on a vehicle. And I welded vehicle. the wheels to the to the axles. Yeah, still not not a real estate. It's not real estate, even if I weld the wheels to the axle. Can you can you live in it actually? Yeah, you can. But still, you no couldn't. way. <laughs> All right, well, it's not. All right, moving on. It's car is definitely not real estate, almost definitely. A van you can live in. A van you can live in. You can live in it. You just asked me if you can live in a car. You can't really. But yeah. now, this is a van that a lot of people, now it's getting pretty popular. Hashtag van life. Those uh, mobile homes, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, n well, according to Polish law, it's not a real estate, right? It's not affixed to the land. Is there uh, any law from any country that you know that might consider uh, a truck Actually, van? we've been talking about it, right? American yeah. law, well, some states mm -hmm. at least. Uh, where you can move houses because of no solid foundation. Yeah. So a van is. But a van is, is still a vehicle. Yeah, a van is much more of a vehicle. But in the United States, like trailer parks are—I don't know if I want to say common or popular, but they exist in a large number. So um, these are technically mobile homes. They're like containers or things that have wheels. But they also resemble cars or. Like yeah. vehicles right where you this is another topic for a whole podcast yeah. because there's a whole like 
usually mobile homes, uh, they can be like attached to a foundation and then you can kind of consider them okay. real estate, mm. uh, as Kasha has told me before. Uh, but also they don't hold the same value that like a house does. And, so you it's, know, it's not permanent, right? It's a it's shelter. Not, it's it's just right, a right. place where you where you can stay, where you um, yeah. and the financing, while you're traveling. Like, banks don't want to give you loans yeah. as easily for a mobile home, etc. So there's a, a lot of other things that come come into play with mobile homes. But generally speaking, a van not a real estate. not real estate. Okay, there we go. Uh, moving on, I don't know, like five or ten or whatever number super we're on. Super yacht. A super yacht. Well, that's actually a similar story. Because that's also a vehicle, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of. A water vehicle. Oh. Who's phone? <laughs> All right. Uh, coming back. Uh, Kasha took care of her mom duties, and we're back to the show. All right. Kasha, a super yacht. Is it real estate? But it's not. Tell me why. But it's, it's a super yacht. Well, it is super. Indeed. <laughs> Why isn't it a real estate, Jacob? This is a, you're the, you're the contestant here. You want me to answer for you? I'm checking up on you. <laughs> okay, it's not real estate because uh, it's clearly very movable. Uh, and one thing that I think is pretty important about real estate that we didn't mention earlier um, is actually kind of a key element of real estate is that it's immovable and technically indestructible. You can destroy stuff on real estate. Like we said, you can destroy buildings, you can move dirt. You can't destroy land. Yeah. Well. It, because real estate is, is kind of like this this um, pile or like this position in space, like an area in space that is owned by an individual or a number of individuals. And like no matter what kind of tool you have, you can't destroy this, uh, this theoretical space. space. Yeah, it's there. There can be stuff attached to this space, like a bunch of dirt and a building. Uh, but a yacht, for example, is not in any single unique defined space so uh, it's obviously not real estate you great can... great thing. i agree well let's see oh, whether the answer was correct <laughs> the answer is correct yes gotcha good job <laughs> all right moving on actually um there's some interesting literature that i have linked here uh, i'll put it down in the description too uh, actually this does this refers to boats in the united states in some places they are kind of Accepted, accepted as, as real, real estate. estate. They're taxed as real estate. Okay, yeah, they uh, may be taxed, but are they real estate? Going into like the textbook yeah. definition, you probably it's, they're not real estate. Again, they probably have completely different markets. They they might you know appreciate. But there are or people that, that choose yeah, those. Yeah, there are people as, that rent out yeah. boathouses and stuff like that. So they live there permanently. But generally speaking, not real estate. All right. A chandelier. A chandelier. Well, that's furniture, a piece of furniture. Is it? Yeah, you can, well, not easily, but you can, uh, you can actually um, sell it to somebody, yeah. right? And, well, can, and dispose can, of very easily. I can sell my house to somebody too. Well, sure. <laughs> actually, uh, I was, was watching a show, uh, I believe it was Selling Sunset on Netflix, um, and they were talking about like, a chandelier in a house that was about to be sold and they were kind of like testing this new agent and they asked her uh if this person if somebody buys the house does it come with the chandelier mm -hmm. you know they say that sometimes you know buyers and sellers have fights and they even don't buy a house because of something like you know a cabinet doesn't stay or something so um is it real estate or not i mean it is attached i might have and a chandelier it's not permanently attached well um, is it's it? not a part of real estate. It can, you know, the, the real estate may be sold without it or with it. Okay. Just like uh, with furniture or without it. So generally speaking, you think it's not real it's estate? It's not real estate. Okay. I think this might be a little bit of a gray area. I know you're much more ex like an, of an expert than me, but I think this could be a shady area. Like sometimes it could be real estate, sometimes it couldn't. Is that possible? Well, a uh, difficult question, but actually... Um, a similar stories with um, kitchenettes, right? Those, those not kitchens, uh, like uh, do you call them kitchenettes? Yeah, kitchenettes, right? I'm not Furniture, completely certain what that is, but that it's, is it's like a just like kind of like a whole kitchen in one little unit, right? So tailored like, for yeah, for yeah, your yeah. Those, mm -hmm. yeah for for your needs, um, and you usually sell 
your house with it, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it's part of real estate, actually. Um, so because it's, it's not easy to, to take it away, to right. destroy it or whatever. I imagine a chandelier like this, it's very freaking, I, I think they needed a forklift or something to get that in there. <laughs> okay, so final answer, what do we think? Is it real estate or is it not real estate? To my mind, it's not. Okay, so it's probably not real estate. But maybe theoretically, in some cases it could be, again, real estate does have technically a firm definition, but in some legal cases or sometimes it might, it might, you know, differ from case. Sure. You might have to take it on a case by case basis. All right. Yeah, so something kitchen similar, cabinet. a kitchen cabinet. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just talked about that. Is it real estate? If it's like attached firmly with very strong That's a screws. difficult question actually. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that a kitchen cabinet is real estate because it isn't, okay, right? It, it may itself. be part of it. Okay. Uh, well, but still, it, it's for me, it's a piece of furniture that you can easily exchange with something else. Okay. So it's not real estate. It's not real estate. Actually, this also might be a question of uh, international, like in Poland, this might not be considered so much as real estate, but from my research and mostly my research is from the United States. Uh, or regarding the United States, uh, I found that in many contexts, they do consider cabinetry, kitchen cabinetry, as real estate. Uh, Part of real estate. Yeah. Oh, right. That's actually arguable. Okay. So it's arguable. We'll give you a, a half point for this. <laughs> okay. Now, a movable kitchen island. Definitely not a real estate. Okay, this... Movable, that's for sure. Here are no <laughs> questions, yeah? No one's going to argue. It's, it's movable. <laughs> Two guys can come pick it up and take it out. It's gone. You know, no questions asked. Bye-bye. All right, what about an actual island? What, what does that mean, an like, actual like this island? Thing. You mean an island, right? Yeah. Well, this is a kitchen that's island. Mo that's an island. <laughs> It's called an island. What? <laughs> sure, but this is movable, and the other one is is not movable. So that's really. They're stable. both called islands, Kasia. Okay. <laughs> but that's uh, that's definitely. This is definitely real estate. Yeah. Okay. For sure, and you can build it. I have an actually build interesting something question. Something on it. I didn't do much real uh, research into this, but we know, like the Hawaiian Islands, and I assume probably maybe all islands actually. Technically, all land is constantly moving on tectonic plates, right? Yeah. But something it's pretty obvious in, in something like the group of islands that is Hawaii. Uh, over a very long period of time, like volcanoes, whatever, underwater, are, <laughs> are making more islands, right? This island yeah. is growing, and uh -huh. these islands are moving away, but very slowly. Uh, do you have any, like, what's the legal, like, uh, ramifications here? Like if you buy a house on this island yeah, and, it, and it's and slowly it's actually, moving. And it's um, disappearing. Yeah. You mean? <laughs> like, are you now the owner of some so space you're the, you're in the middle of the here. ocean? You have to sell it quickly. <laughs> uh, I'm, well, actually, so you lose your property or actually you, 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 are the you owner still of, possess, but... It's, it's over there now. Uh, yeah. you, you now own your neighbor's property, yeah? No, like, do you know, really, honestly? Uh, no, never I think this is a very it. specific case. Uh, if you had to make an assumption, what do you think happens? Like Pompeii. So right. Yeah. Well, what there, happened we, to those plots? Was, yeah. Oh, well, I, I know <laughs> what happened covered. to the owners actually. Yeah. Uh, that's actually. If you had to make an assumption, question. what do you think happens in law? I would I would assume that there's something that says you know it moves with the with the main mass of the land, so it's not like you're slowly starting to be the owner of your neighbor's property or something, right? I wouldn't say so because you've got some boundaries. Yeah. And you can't move boundaries because, you know, you, you've got more water on yours than your neighbor. I think um, the, the motion is so slow. That yeah, the motion is It might be irrelevant so exactly. in any frame of time that we're going to yeah. live. But, uh, yeah, interesting case. We're going to have to do more research on this. Maybe yeah. we can do a, an episode ne on, on <laughs> Next this. Next episode. Yeah. Okay, moving on. A tree. It's sure. a part. It's a part of real estate. It's not a real estate itself. It's right? not? No. It's a part of real estate. Okay. So it's part of the real property. Yeah. It's part of, so it part kind of. of is real estate. Yeah, okay. kind of. Pretty solid. I mean, it's solidly attached. It has roots sure. and stuff, especially an old tree. What about a tree house? It's a house. <gasps> it's a tree. A tree is real estate. It's a house like is real nobody estate. It resembles a shed, right? Okay. So yeah. it's not, it's, it's uh, just a construction. 
but it's permanently attached to the land, right? It's permanently attached to the tree. Tree's permanently attached to the land. It's real estate. That's a difficult question. Yeah. But I wouldn't call it well by. It's not a. Uh, it's not defined in um, in the Polish law as real estate. It's, yeah. it, it can be considered a construction, okay. but not a real estate. Interesting. Okay, so this is probably another thing where local law matters yeah. and can, can vary. So interesting. So no points awarded. We're just going to ignore this question. <laughs> or minus. Yeah. Minus one. I, I'm not keeping score. I'm going to <laughs> I'm have to do it in editing. Okay, what about a bicycle grown into a tree, Kasha? I said it's going to get more difficult. Where did you go. find it? A bicycle grown I, into a tree. I just remembered this a at tree. some point. I saw this picture. It's actually pretty pretty popular on the internet. Poor tree. Okay, so you said a tree is part of the real estate. It's part. Yeah. It's real estate, but um, and this bike. I mean, I can't easily remove it. I would have to destroy this tree to remove this bike. Or perform like, some it. kind of well, surgery. Well, I'm I'm slowly changing my point of view actually because <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is part of real estate, but it's still a part of real estate, right? Something mm -hmm. that is. Uh, uh, that is attached to this land, but right. a bicycle is still a vehicle. And guys, we're kind of getting into a little bit of a jokish kind of scenario here, just so you know. Like, I don't think it would ever be super relevant <laughs> whether a bike grown into a tree is real estate. Uh, so if you're... But I would definitely discuss it with my students. I oh, promise yeah? you. Okay, yeah. awesome, cool. Maybe we'll hear but back But I'm pretty sure episode. that there will be so many, uh, so many opinions on that. Right. And, and well, it would probably, if it came down to it, it would just have to be a judge. Do you to... know the answer? Is I don't know. I don't, know the, I don't think there is a, a concrete answer to this. You know, I think it would come down to a jury and a, a jury and or a, or a judge, right? I have to restart the camera. All right. So um, another big question mark on this question. <laughs> um, no points awarded. Sorry, Kasha. Oh. Okay, we'll give you like point, uh, point one. one. Yeah. Point one. All right. Just to keep Kasha happy. All right, last one. A tank monument. monument. Yeah. Still a vehicle for me. Yeah. Uh, Are you can sure? you move it? <laughs> well, it's monument. Define okay. Move. Yeah. Tank monument. Okay. A tank that that's a monument. Probably Still, has the engine taken out. Sure. It's probably like welded so it can't. I would move. say it's construction, right? Okay. Uh, well, so it's a fixture. Yeah. So it is real estate. No, uh, but actually, structures, landscaping elements. Kasha is very competitive. She does not want to give up this point. <laughs> Kasha, so what do you? What do you I say? don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got me here. Yeah, honestly, I don't know either. Even even having done some research on this, um... still construction, and it doesn't look a real estate to me, right? But right. whether it's a part of it or not. It is uh, affixed to land, so, um, well, uh, maybe... Uh, as far as I know, this kind of, of, of monuments yeah. are very popular in this part of the world. Uh, so, tanks? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tanks as a monument. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's, it's very specific to, to this part of... Right, right. Uh, yeah, so... Do you have tanks attached to land in, in the, in the United States? Not that I'm very familiar <laughs> with. I, mean, I, I haven't We've visited got many, plenty of But them I'm here. sure we have, like, army museums. In Poland, you're right though. Like in Europe, it's very popular. Yeah. Like you can't go through a major city, I think, without seeing some monuments. Uh, hey, it's a broken tank. Tank, let's uh, do a monument. Yeah. yeah, we can't just throw it out. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you throw them out, and <laughs> Reduce, we make monuments out of them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, that was the last Too question. Too much steel to be. Yeah. Another thrown one. away. I'm sorry, Kasia. We can't award you points for this. <laughs> I lost track of points. I need Kasia, points. You're the only contestant, so one way or another, you win. Woo! Congratulations. Woo, Kasha. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Jay. All right. Um, so circling back again, just the broadest, most, but yet solid definition of real estate. What is it, Kasha? What is real estate? Again, a textbook again. definition? Not textbook. Are you sure you Not want textbook. it? Just, just, more, just more loose. Okay, more loose. Well, so yeah. still land mm -hmm. being a fundamental part of it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, any buildings and anything that is permanently attached to it, yeah. plus the rights to property, to the rights to um, that that the the owner, in American law though remember user holds uh, real property 
includes the right. Real estate is just the physical stuff, just the space, right? To again. Yeah. No, w sumie. Chociaż wiesz, no. In in U.S. law, because again, it just varies in Europe, in probably Africa, Australia. They all have their own, I'm sure, little subsets, but it's all very similar. And I think um, a very good broad definition is just real estate is physical stuff, houses, the land like that the house is on. While the real property contains mm -hmm. the legal uh, layer. Yeah. It right? gives you additional stuff that you can't... The like, bundle of rights. Right. The real estate is the physical stuff you can touch, the house, the land. And real property is all that, plus the right to be able to use it, enjoy it, rent it, whatever. Right? Right. Are we good? There we go, guys. So basically, we just spent a whole hour discussing something that at the in the first 10 minutes we already it's talked revealed, about. Yeah, it was already revealed. So, uh, so what, what is the next episode going to be about? The definition of what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet, honestly. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down of in the comments. ownership, right? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Uh, Are we going seriously. to decipher that? Perhaps. <laughs> if you want to do it, we can definitely do it. Uh, Let's do that. All right, one day for sure. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much. If you've really come all the way to the end of this episode, you are an awesome person. Thank you so much for being here with us. I know. And awards. Any awards? Ah, uh, Kasha, you get an award for winning uh, the game show. <laughs> is it real estate? Yes. Your trophy is ordered. It's on the way. Okay, great. What so is it? Lots real of delays estate or due to the pandemic. It's a surprise. <laughs> You'll get to know later. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody, again, really, for watching, coming this far. This is our first episode. So... Thank you for having me over. I'll be back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you have no choice. It's kind of your job. Uh, and mine, too, really. <laughs> so uh, thank you for being here. Um, thank you for watching this far. Like, seriously. Uh, so, seriously, that was harsh, actually, discussing yeah, this is our first the episode. definition. Well, I've never been in a podcast before. Neither have Kasha I. has never been in a podcast before. This is our first episode. Um, but you know what? Feel, As you can feel free see. to roast us in the comments. You know, you don't have to be nice to us. Just say whatever <laughs> you want, you know. Uh, just just tell us how terrible we are. We want to make these episodes better and better. Uh, hopefully, it's only going to get smoother and more dense and, and nicer as we go along. Well, episode 159 yeah. will be much better. Oh, episode 159. <sighs> Hashtag episode 159, guys. It's coming. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to have to be special now. Now that you Let's said it. Let's promise them <laughs> that it's going to be very yeah, special. for sure. For sure. sure. But you have to tell us about your, your real estate that you've just bought. But ah. That will be the next episode. Okay. 159? Okay. I'm happy to. I can talk about the property I'm trying to buy all day, guys. Right. All day. No problem. All right, guys. Thanks again. Special thanks to my co-host, Kasha. Special thanks to Boytek for being here. Everyone who's watching, a huge special thanks to you. And we'll see you in the next episode on the we'll Real Talk Podcast. We'll be back be ready. for sure. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. See ya. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids as kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I'm